A local, long held process for selecting Oklahoma's judges could be going away. The Judicial Nominating Commission plays a big role in selecting judges for our state's higher courts, but a state Senate resolution would give all the nominating power to the governor. Two News Oklahoma's Brody Meyer shows us the current process and what could change. It's a question of independence. As much as we would love for our, ju our judges to be completely independent of political forces, the fact is they're simply not. Or accountability. The idea is really to focus on the merit and the qualifications of these individuals. About 50 years ago, Oklahoma lawmakers chose independence. In 1963, an Oklahoma Supreme Court justice admitted that he and two others took bribes worth 150 grand. That's when the Judicial Nominating Commission was born. Dr. Evering Smith, an associate professor at OSU, studies the commission. It's designed to do a little bit of the legwork for the, the state of Oklahoma, for our citizens in advance. A board made up of lawyers, business, and community leaders looks at potential judges' backgrounds. Then they send a list of three names to the governor from which to choose. Oklahoma's judicial selection process is nuanced, and there's a lot of cooks in the kitchen. After the committee gives the governor their three names, the governor chooses the final person for the job. And then it's up to the Oklahoma voters to retain or fire these judges. Research shows more than 90% of judges across the country retain their offices. Oklahoma Senate Joint Resolution 34 would keep those elections, but eliminate the Judicial Nominating Commission, putting it all in the governor's hands. I'm the one that's elected by Oklahomans, and the next governor is going to be elected by Oklahomans. Why do we tie the governor's hands uh, behind his back and create all these boards and commissions and unelected bureaucrats? Dr. Travis Taylor, an Owasso political scientist, thinks the proposal is good for Oklahoma voters. The, the JNC as it's currently constructed just doesn't provide the accountability mechanism for the courts. Miles Pringle, president of the Oklahoma Bar Association, disagrees, saying the committee is the best, most efficient method available and it keeps judges free from political influence. If the resolution passes the legislature, it will be up to Oklahomans to keep things the way they are or get rid of the JNC. We'll keep you updated. Brody Myers, 2 News, Oklahoma.